so here's the deal. World War III has started. Aliens are invading the Earth. Zombies are overtaking the nation. And the latest developments in AI have resulted in robots overthrowing our local government. Okay, joking aside, in all seriousness, food supply chains are broken and food becomes scarce. You've been gardening for years. Now you have to garden to survive. What are you gonna grow? What crops are you gonna choose? And how are you gonna grow them? Well, today I wanna tell you about the most life-sustaining crop you can ever possibly grow. And here it is, guys. Simple but brilliant. Introducing the most life-sustaining crop you could possibly grow, the potato. So this little miracle crop right here has nearly every single essential nutrient to sustain human life. It's got vitamin C, amino acids, and even proteins in here. One other really cool thing about the potato is that it's 80% water. So in the case of hydration in a life-threatening situation, whatever it is, you're getting your nutrients as well as some hydration in the same instance. But that's enough information for now. We're gonna bring you along for the harvest today and also show you how we prepare these potatoes for storage. All right, this here is how you know your potatoes are ready. They start to wilt, they'll fall over and they lose their beautiful green color. The leaves will dry out. You don't want them to be completely dead. As you see, there's still some green in the stalk. The leaves are mostly dead, but there's a little bit of green left. You can wait that long, but you chance losing your harvest. At one point, both of these beds were full of just lustrous, green, tall, healthy potato plants and now, Clearly not. This is how you know they are ready. Again, they dry out, they fall over, they brown, and this is when they're ready to harvest. We got a harvest ready to be plucked right here. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got, oh, there it is. There it is. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, what you need is a pitchfork, some hands, and a storage container. We're just using uh, this yep. basket here. Yep. And a helper. Yeah. Helpers are great. You gonna help, buddy? Mm -hmm. What's in your cup? Japanese beetles and we're, we're killing them. Japanese beetles and we're killing them? Good yeah. job, buddy. All right, so a key is you don't wanna just stab into there. You wanna be cautious and careful and gentle. So go around your row. I'm gonna very gently dig in and lift. I'm going pretty far out from where we planted just to begin to lift the soil. They're ready. Yep, they're ready. And so I'm actually gonna lift this plant right here so you can see. Let me see if I can pull out the whole plant. Look at that. Whoa! So that's our seed potato right there. Yeah, he's looking a little nasty. Yep. Here's another one. He sacrificed, he gave all that he had. Okay. And another key, do not wash your potatoes before you cure them. It's gonna, they're gonna cure much easier and store better by not washing them. Another tip, we do not water our potatoes the last two to three weeks before we know we're going to harvest. This helps with preventing rot in the potatoes. Yay! Obviously you can't prevent Yay! rain, but you can do your part in stopping watering them. These are purple potatoes. Look at those. Let's, let's shake some dirt off. Yeah, that one's cool. There's a couple really great benefits to growing potatoes. One of those is you can plant them twice in the growing season. As soon as we clear this bed, we're going to amend the soil and we're going to plant a second crop for a fall harvest. So the thing with potatoes is they are great for long-term storage. In light of current situations, food crisis, inflation, you're going to want to learn how to grow food that you can store through the winter and you can store long-term. Potatoes are one of the easiest foods to grow and the easiest to store. So. And most people love potatoes, like yeah. french fries, mashed potatoes, kids love them. You can put them in soups. I mean, there are so many things that you can do with potatoes. And many years ago, my sister-in-law had this crazy dream and in it she heard the phrase, potato starch is life sustaining. One thing we've been trying to do more and more is grow crops that we actually enjoy eating. One of the pitfalls of the beginning gardener is that you love to go out and grow things that are interesting, exotic, that you've never seen in the grocery store before. But at the end of the day, most of the time you're not gonna eat that food frequently. One thing that we've been trying to do is find foods or grow foods that we frequently buy at the grocery store to save on our grocery bill. Radio up and the blinds pull down We love it when nobody's around I want to call out pine town But you bite my lip, don't make a sound 
I'll be down for so we planted these potatoes at the end of March and here we are right at the end of June. So it's about a 90 to 100 days from planting to harvest with the potatoes here in the Midwest. All right, guys, we're done harvesting. We're about to show you how much of a harvest we got. But before we do that, one great thing about having livestock on your property or on your homestead, whatever it is, whether it's chickens or in our case, pigs, is that you don't waste anything. Our pigs will absolutely love the leftover leave, potato leaves and stalks and all of this good stuff, rotten potatoes. They will eat all of it. So we're gonna take all of the leftovers and we're gonna give them to our Cooney oh, Cooney pigs over here. All right, the next step is to cure your potatoes in a cool, dark location. We're actually gonna take these potatoes and spread them out on this table and let them sit in our basement. We're gonna create, we're gonna turn the lights off and keep a dark atmosphere, but let them sit out for the next three to five days to dry out. If they need a little bit more time, we'll let them do that. And after they dry out, we're gonna put them back in bins like this, just a storm in our basement. All right, we took bets. I think this thing weighs about 50 pounds. What do you say? When I was looking at it, I guessed 35. 35. And I picked it up. Paige, what do you say? Uh, um, I don't know. Pick it up. All right, Paige says 34 pounds. You say? Right. Oh. 47 pounds. Why are you getting so close to my number? That's not fair. All right, 50 pounds, 47, 34. Let's do it. We're not gonna tear the uh, bin out. Bin's probably two pounds. So let's say the yeah, let's say the bin is yeah, two okay. pounds. Alright. Go. Alright, is it on all the way? Ooh. Hey, wait. Alright, let's go with forty two four. Alright, I was closest. Right, I was gonna job. say forty five, but okay. Right. So Four, minus so, the box, 40 pounds of potatoes. Yeah, 40 pounds out of... So we planted 12 rows with four potato, seed potatoes in each row. So that's about 50 plants. So 50 small potatoes about this size produced 40 pounds of potatoes in 90 days. For our family of seven, that will last us, what, two months almost? Um, no, I use about five pounds a week. So that'll, yeah, two months, you're right. Two months. So two months of potatoes with just a little bit of work. Guys, this is totally doable. You can grow your own food. You can you can do this. You get to do this. You get to grow your own food. So our next planting, we could plant double what we planted and have enough potatoes to get us through the entire winter. Crazy. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, so we're just gonna set these out on this table down here and let them dry out. Remember that tip I said, do not wash your potatoes. There's a protective layer on them from the soil that'll help them cure and stay good for a really long time. If you wash them, they will go bad quickly. We're gonna leave these on this table for the next three to five days and come back and see if they're dried out all the way. If we need to leave them out for seven, we will, but I bet three to five days and they'll be ready to go. Take what's yours, I'll take what's I'm used to coming up. All right, so we are super excited. Just 50 potatoes and we have over 40 pounds. And if we would have actually harvested last week before we had a huge rain for three days, we probably would have had 50 pounds of potatoes. We had several that were rotten. All right, so what's next? After a few days, we're actually gonna separate these potatoes, the purples, the reds, the yellows, and then we're gonna store a majority of them here in our basement and the rest we're gonna keep in the kitchen because a family of seven, we're gonna eat all these potatoes in the next two months. And come mid-July, around July 15th, we're gonna plant a second round of potatoes. We're actually gonna double what we planted, where we planted 50 this time, we're gonna plant 100 potatoes next time to double our harvest and have enough potatoes to get us through the winter. So like I said before, guys, you can do this. This is real food sustainability. This is one of the best ways that you can prepare for things that are happening in our nation and the nations of the earth. When it comes to food shortages and inflation and everything that's happening, 
This is one simple way that you can be prepared for the days ahead. Guys, you can grow potatoes in those bags. You can grow them in five gallon buckets. You don't have to grow them in these big raised beds that we have. You can grow them straight in the ground. Yep. Potatoes are one of the easiest crops to grow. The easiest to store. It's the easiest to store. They are just an amazing crop. So They're healthy. They taste great. Yep. yep. Well, that's it, guys. I hope we inspired you to go out, get in your garden, and grow your own food. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell next to it. And hit all, and you'll receive all of our notifications when we release videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.